I am Anil Kumar and now we will discuss Parallel Lines, Q Lines and Parallel Planes Chapter 3 from Common Core Geometry Parallel Lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect. Skew Lines are lines that do not intersect and are not coplanar. Parallel Planes are planes that do not intersect. So these are the three basic definitions. Parallel lines are lines which do not intersect, but they should be in one plane. However, skew lines also do not intersect, but they are in different planes and those planes are parallel. That is why skew lines do not intersect. Parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. Think about floor and ceiling, right? These are two different planes which do not intersect. So any line on the floor and any line on the ceiling will never intersect. So those are skew lines. So that is how we define these three terms. In geometry it is very important to draw neat and labeled diagrams. Now don't hesitate to draw. Just draw the best way you can. right? So let's draw parallel lines. So parallel lines try to do horizontal parallel lines as I've shown here. Now at times they may not look so parallel. So what we do is we mark arrows like this. So if I mark one set of arrows like this it means that these two lines are parallel. right? So these are parallel lines. Second, to label a line we could label a line as L or M. right? So L and M are these two lines. They could also be labeled with the help of points on the line, right? So let me draw a transverse line here. We'll define transverse line in the next video. So let's say there's a line which cuts across these two lines. The points at which this line is cutting across, let these points be P and Q. Transverse lines, we will normally label them with letter T, right? So this T is transverse line. Now whenever I'm drawing a line, the line extends both sides. So it is good to draw arrows at the end of the line, indicating that they extend on both the sides. Okay? So I'm just going through the steps, which are kind of important to draw a neat diagram and then talk about it. Geometry is all about sketching, labeling, and communicating. Now we have a transverse line which is cutting across these two parallel lines at points P and Q. I could actually also label the lines with the help of two points. So let us say we have another set of points on the line. Let's say these points are A and B. Then we can say that line L is parallel to line M. So that symbol is for parallel lines. We could also say PA. Line could be defined with the help of two points with, with arrow on both sides on the top, line on the top. We can say PA is parallel to QB. Line QB. Right? So this on the top with arrows on both sides indicate lines. Right? So that is a way in which you can show or write parallel lines. Correct? Parallel lines, they are in the same plane. These two lines are in the plane of the paper. They are parallel and so they will not intersect. Now let's talk about parallel planes and skew lines. So for drawing a plane, you should make parallelograms. So let me make two parallelograms. So let us say this is first. It will represent a plane. Now a plane could be defined with the help of a line and a point. And let's say this is the line on this plane. And let's say there is a point on this plane. So plane as you know can be defined with the help of a line and a point or three points. To label a plane we should normally label it with capital letters. Let's say K is my plane which I've drawn just now. 
Let me draw another plane which is parallel to this. Now when we are sketching these parallelograms, then just like lines extend on both the sides, plane extends on all four sides. So these are the directions in which they will extend, right, till infinity. So as the line extends, plane extends, line is always contained in the plane, correct? That is kind of very important to understand. Now let us say on this plane we have a line which is kind of going like this, right? Now their slope may be different, but still they do not intersect because these two planes are parallel. So planes which are parallel will not intersect. Lines which are there on different planes, we say they are not coplanar. So these two lines are the skew lines, right? So we have skew lines here. Let me call these skew lines as, let's say, R1 and R2. So we say R1 and R2 are skew lines. Why are they skew lines? One, they are not coplanar. And therefore, and they do not intersect, do not intersect. So they are like parallel lines, they do not intersect, but unlike parallel lines, they are not coplanar, right? In parallel lines, it is important to mention that they are always coplanar. I hope with this, you clearly understand how to distinguish between non-intersecting lines, one we are calling parallel, the other skew. Parallel lines are non-intersecting, they are in the same plane, but they have the same slope and therefore they are parallel, they never intersect. But the skew lines may have a different slope, but still they do not intersect because they are in planes which are parallel or they are not coplanar, right? So that's the whole idea of these three terms coming together. I hope with this you understand fairly well how to distinguish between parallel and skew lines and importance of sketching diagrams, right? Just as I said my plane is K, let me label this plane as letter X for example, correct? So and these two planes which I mentioned here, they do not intersect the way I've drawn them and they are parallel planes, so I'm saying K is parallel to X. This is about parallel planes. Now let's take a few examples and see if we have really understood the concept of parallel lines, skew lines and parallel planes. Thank you and all the best.